I'll tell you what, there's a lot of pride over it, and I sensed that when I was over at Cowgirl Stadium on Tuesday of this week talking to um, Coach Kenny Gajewski, who joins us now, and also had a chance to talk to one of his uh, younger players who is on fire, and that blaze continued last night in Wichita, Kansas, as the Cowgirls won 9-6. to six. Good morning, Kenny Gajewski. How are you this morning? Hey, Robert. Thanks for having me. You had a good night last night. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it wasn't uh, the cleanest of games to start with. Uh, we didn't pitch very very well to start. Um, we just, uh, we had a really bad second inning where we walked about four or five kids and um, uh, gave up four runs. And, but, you know, but the, the, the exciting thing for me is that uh, uh, we came back and answered that with three runs and, um, just continued to fight and caught from uh, behind and, and, uh, and you know, and, and, and beat a good Wichita State team that we've struggled with at times um, at, at their park. And, and um, you know, a midweek game before what many perceive to be a, you know, a really good weekend. Um, sometimes it's hard to get your team in the right spot, so I'm proud of them for, for keeping their focus Um uh, because Wichita State's super, um, they give us trouble. They they they're super. They're 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 well coached, and uh, I just thought that, that we were able to uh, uh, kind of get our legs under us and match their uh, energy. And, and it was good to see those kids play good and had some really good performances. And and uh, it's fun to watch. Well, and again, the uh, the Shockers twenty and twelve after last night. I mean, they've got a a good program, but. Um, I, I was mentioning we had a chance on, on Tuesday to talk to one of your young players, Cheyenne Factor from UConn. And um, I, interesting to see a freshman come on and, and play that way. Sometimes it happens. Probably more times it takes freshmen to, to really adjust. And, and uh, you know, but last night just continued a, a really hot streak with the bat for her with uh, the home run and she was again she was she was hot with the bat last night yeah she's uh she's something else you know she's hitting in the four hole and ever since we've had her at the four hole it's kind of changed our offense um she's just a kid that um is super tough uh nothing phases this kid she kind of has a demeanor that kind of can drive you crazy at times because it, it, it actually when you watch her it looks like she doesn't care but it's quite the opposite she uh cares as much as anybody i've been around um is is a is, you know is like a true pro when, when when she hits um plays the outfield extremely well for somebody who runs average um gets tremendous reads but her bat is what's really propelled us and and uh you know i was looking at our stats uh last night and on on the drive home and you know we've got i don't know five or six kids now with 20 plus our bi's and she's one of those kids and she's done that in half the at-bats that everybody else who's got those, uh, that, that number of RBIs. So, um, I think it tells you what she's been up to. You know, she's hitting over 400, uh, maybe got five or six home runs now. Um, play, made, made, made some big plays in our outfield. Um, but just stabilized the lineup, uh, per, protected M- Montgomery, uh, which, which we haven't had here, uh, ever. Um, so we finally got some protection for her, and uh, it's been exciting to watch young kids. I've always said that I love playing young kids because they really don't know what's at stake yet. So um, I love when these young kids play. You know what? I, I am glad you, you you said that last sentence because when we interviewed her, you know, the other day, it was like, uh, it's like, yeah, golly, this is fun. Yeah, we're, man, you know, she was asked what her first Big 12 series was like, the, the, the win – you know, the series win at Baylor and 21 runs on Friday of last week. And, you know, she's kind of got that, almost that, and I'm not making fun of her, but that Gomer pile, oh, golly, this is, this yeah. is fun, you know. And, and Texas for the home opening Big 12 series, I, I asked her about that, and she's like, yeah, this this is going to be great. I'm, 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 I'm excited about this. And you, you get the feelings, you're like looking at her in, in, in her eyes, and it's like, you know, okay, this is her first time around the block. <laughs> so yeah. everything's going to be, yeah, this is fun. So, but hey, yeah, I would, when, when you hit the way she does, it is fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, and, and you, you're right. And and to be honest, like that's that's who she is. I don't I don't foresee that changing. Um, she puts a lot of pressure on herself, but she's kind of this cool cat. Like our players and even our staff, we kind of uh, she's the uh, brunt of a lot of jokes because the way she kind of carries herself and the way she you know when she's like during her at bats, it's it's like a big league. It's like a big leaguer. I mean, she's in there. She kind of just kind of turns her head and kind of looks at me like, I know you're not about to give me anything other than hit here. And that's how she thinks. That's how she acts. That's how she practices. She's a true pro, and, and um, it's cool to see out of a young kid. And she's really, to be honest, I think she's helped some of our older kids uh, just to watch her go about her, her business. So um, fun kid to watch. Um, I'm, 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 I'm anxious to see how she handles this weekend and, and uh, what she does. You've been gone for 13 games. I mean, you know, have not played in your own ballpark. Like you said the other day when we were talking, you know, I'm just happy our kids are going to get to sleep in their own beds and their own apartment, dorm, whatever, and, and, you know, and, then, and then go play ball. Because when you've been playing baseball, it's, or softball rather, it's, it's either been getting off a bus or being in town for a weekend and, and staying in some, you know, hotel and, and uh, so, yeah, and it's always nice to have the home fans. You've got, and we want to emphasize this, games are sold out with season tickets, but they're still selling tickets. There's all kinds of places to, to watch games at Cowgirl Stadium, uh, and we'll get into that some more. But, yeah, just coming back home for this team ought to be fun, much less that Texas is going to be in town. Yeah, um, we were we were on, on our way to Wichita last night, our, our director of ops and our strength coach uh coach west yeah uh, he sits in the front seat on the right side i sit in the front seat on the uh well the left side and he he got on the uh, bus and goes right back here at home and i was just like man <laughs> when the front seat of the uh, bus feels like home we got problems but uh we've we've been uh we've been traveling a bunch um but i know our girls are ready you know we've only played five games here at cowgirl park and and uh, i know our fans are itching to to see us and and uh, see us in person and we've been on tv a bunch and um you know it's uh uh it's it's cool to have that and we're gonna have tv be here but um it, it's gonna be good to be in our own park and our own dugout and uh, back to our regular routine and there's no guarantees you know, as you know i mean um we still got to get out here and play well just because we're at home doesn't mean we're going to win and doesn't mean that we're going to play well we have to go play well we have to go take it to them we have to we've, we've been talking about being hammers and and we've got to be the hammer, not the not the uh, nail. And so uh, that's that's been our deal. We're we're we're, we're going to come out and uh, we're we're going to do everything that we can to be the hammer. And and um, uh, hopefully uh, uh, these kids are ready for the challenge. I think that they are. I think they're um, uh, ready for the opportunity to play a top ten team and the top you know top fifteen, top twenty type matchup. It's a super regional type feel. So uh, this is what we're trying to get to. These are the opportunities that we want. We've got it, and now it's up to us to take it. Well, let's talk a little bit. Uh, you know, before we talk about Texas, though, I want to talk about your team because we got into to Cheyenne a little bit. But, you know, Riley Bayless is, is a player that, that everybody knows here. Maddie Sue Montgomery, you know, we, we've talked about her. Sydney Pennington. Uh, you know, I'm just throwing out names, uh, you know, and, and I think you're pitching has taken a big jump up, and that's been a, a big reason. Despite playing all these road games, you guys have racked up so many wins. You're, you're 21st, 16th, depending on which poll you look at. I kind of like that ESPN poll, that 16. That looks yeah, good. I do, too. Um, I think that's about right. Yeah, but <laughs> but talk a little bit about your team and, and some of the some of the players, and some of them are, are going to be, you know, I mean, they're getting up there. They're experienced, and – there's not going to be that many more opportunities to see them slap the ball around, you know, Cowgirl Stadium. Talk about some of the, the ladies that uh, that these fans need to rally around here in these last 12 of the last 18 are going to be at home, by the way. Well, I think you've got um, – we've just got a, a tremendous group here, a, a ton of depth, and, and that was evident last night. I was kind of unhappy with the way that Pennington was playing uh, last night, I think for the first time in her her career, I took her out of a ball game um, and moved Bayless to third base. And Bayless, uh, back in her old st- her old stomping grounds at third base, made uh, well. She she started two double plays and then made uh, Sports Center top ten play. I think it came in at number five last night in the uh, game. And um, 
I, I haven't had that luxury here, um, and I've got that that here now. And um, Pennington's part of our f- 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 future. She has been from day one. But everybody here has got to be accountable, and um, and and that includes me. And um, uh, I think it shows you now that, that we do have some 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 true depth. Nobody's safe. Um, you got to come. You got to bring it every single day. Um, I've got some kids that aren't getting opportunities that need to be playing, and I know that. So. Um, I've got to do a better job when things aren't going right of just making some, some uh, changes. And I think our team is aware of that. But, um, you know, you start out, you talk about uh, Bayless. I mean, uh, what, a, what a spark plug, man. She's on base uh, at a 500 clip, uh, starting to really hit right now like she's capable of. So um, she's, I expect her to have a really good weekend. And, and um, Samantha Shaw, um, pitching, hitting, um, really been a, a, a really good get for us as a as a transfer. She's she's been all she's been built to be. Um, Montgomery and Lynch, you know they've been um, that they've been here all four of my years. Um, just uh, they will always have a crazy special place in my heart because they didn't have to come when the coaching change happened, and uh, uh, they felt the vision. They were they've been part of the culture change. They've been part of. The, the, they've been a, 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 a mainstay in the success here. They both have started over 200 games here now. They're going to be in every record that you can be on the offensive offensive side. Um, so you've got you've got that kind of stuff. You've got a Michelle Richburg, who's a sophomore from Broken Bow. I mean, you don't find a lot of softball players in Broken Bow, but we've got two on our team, and uh, next year we'll have a third. And, and it's kind of interesting, just this little town down the southeast that you know is producing some some pretty solid uh, athletes that just need to play some higher caliber softball. And this is a kid who's just um, starting to come in to her own. She's learning on the uh, job, but she's up to eight home runs and 25 RBIs, and she's got light tower power. And so when you watch this kid hit, um, there's some ups, there's some downs, but it's, uh, it's pretty steady, and she brings an attitude that, that uh, we need. And that's why I wanted her, because of her edge. Um, and then our freshman shortstop Kylie Naomi, she's just been a, a, a pleasure. Uh, can really run, fastest kid on our team, uh, crazy looking athlete, uh, athletic body, got crazy power. She's hit five or six home runs, starting to figure some things out. Still not pretty, uh, still can look ugly at times, but that's what happens to freshmen. Uh, but she's really turning into a good shortstop and making some really good plays and starting to play fast and and that's what it's all about so those are just a few you kind of already talked about factor and um i'll tell you somebody that we never talk about it's our catching crew with dominguez and thomas i mean we've thrown out more runners here than we've thrown out in a law well in my four years here not even close so we're starting to, to to limit teams who run because we're throwing and playing catch and um even though we've made more errors than what i'm used to our errors generally haven't hurt us um, and we've got a lot of people playing some weird spots and, and they've never played. So it's just kind of added up on us, but we've been able to minimize that. Our pitchers have been able to minimize that. So, um, uh, you know, like I said, we're, we're just starting to play our best softball now and, and it's the right time. So hopefully we can carry it on this weekend against the Longhorn. Kenny, you got to ask you with us for just a, a couple of more minutes here on uh, on the program this morning because of a huge series coming up this weekend with Texas, 6 o'clock on Friday, 7.30 on Saturday, and then 1 o'clock to wrap it up on Sunday with the uh, the nationally ranked Longhorns. Uh, they come in here with uh, you know, a top 10 ranking, ninth or 10th, depending on which poll. And, of course, the Cowgirls are 21st or, or 16th, depending on which poll you look at. Yeah, I asked you this the other day. The, the new head coach at Texas came from Oregon. Uh, your program in Oregon had, had developed a relationship. Uh, you guys had, had kindly offered your facility for them to practice in when they had come down to, to play in the, in the Women's College World Series in Oklahoma City. They greatly appreciated it. You went up and, and played at Oregon this year, had a great success in that series uh, against the Ducks. Of course, their, their head coach and some of their players had come south to join you guys in the Big 12. Mm-hmm. It's just an interesting yeah. it's an interesting dichotomy with this thing. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, um, I've gotten to know uh, Mike um, uh, at his days there. I respect what they've done. I respect the way they've got that. They, he turned that program at Oregon into a national power. 
Um, and, and that's why we went to play there. I mean, obviously, uh, we'd already made the schedule. Um, but um, I, we're, we've never shied away from going to play good teams and good programs. That's how you get your program to the next level for sure. Um, but um, Mike's done a great job, and he's, he's done it right away there at t- Texas. He had the luxury with our transfer rules of bringing some of those kids um, along, so that's helped them. But uh, it is what it is, you know what I mean? And, and so some people get upset about it. Uh, I'm not upset. I mean, it is what it is. He's come in and made our conference uh, really good, really stronger. We were already the third RPI conference, and we can really never surpass the SEC or the Pac-12 because we don't have the amount of teams. Um, so we're always, I think, we'll always be at that third slot as of right now, unless we're ever, you know, able to expand or or some other teams like K State or TCU to add, you know, a softball team. But um, it, it's just got a lot of respect. For for those guys they're well coached they've got some really good players there they can really really pitch i mean our hitters are going to get tested here and um it's going to be uh, i don't think you're going to see uh 10 to 10 to 8 games i think you're going to see three to two and four to ones and uh four to threes and two to ones and it, it, they're going to be tight games and um especially with the weather the weather looks like it's going to be a little cooler the wind's going to be blowing in out of the uh, north so Teams that can put the ball in play on the ground are going to be the teams who win these games. So uh, it's going to be, be be fun. But he's done a great job. He's a good good people. Uh, I like his staff, um, and uh, I expect nothing less than a, a major uh, street brawl. So it, it should be fun. Uh, again, uh, seven o'clock. Or, yeah, check that. Six o'clock, seven thirty, one o'clock. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, and, Coach, just to, to wrap it up, because you and I were talking about this the other day, I, I thought you sold out on season tickets, which you guys did and, and have had that kind of success and that kind of fan, uh, you know, appreciation and, and enthusiasm. But, again, sometimes people forget there are walk-up tickets that are sold for every game. And, and believe me, there should be a huge walk-up this weekend for, for this battle between – the cowgirls and the Longhorns. Yeah, there's. Um, that's one of the things that I think we just need to do a better job of getting out there is the fact that, yes, um, the chairbacks are all sold out. Um, that's an awesome thing. Uh, we also know that people buy those and don't come. Um, so we all we always uh, ask our season just, just ticket holders to let us know if they're not coming, and they do that. So we, we put those back out there um, to sell. Um, we... Um, we have tons of walk-up um, that people um, can walk up to for standing room only. Um, you know, I'll, most of our seats are the orange seats. They're, they're, they're general admission seats. So, you know, there's always seats. There's always a way if you want to come and enjoy this. Um, I know we've got a bunch of people that, that are going to back their, their uh, trucks up against our, our left field wall, um, sit in the lawn chairs. That's going to be allowed. Um, no cars in that grass area there. you got to park across the street. But if you back your truck up and want to enjoy yourself, um, the atmosphere is going to be, be, be awesome. You're going to need to get there early. You're going to need to be loud because um, I know um, just been hearing um, through, through the grapevine that people are excited. And um, um, it, it's really cool what these kids have created um, for our fans and for our program. So if you want to come, there is a way. Uh, I, I, I challenge you to get there. Um, get there early. We're, we're going to sell seats down the uh, lines in our bullpen where you can kind of be close to the, the action. And, you know, when our stop field is so small, you can get close, and we encourage that. So um, get get out to the park. Even though they're on TV, uh, we're going to have Michelle Smith back calling our Saturday game, uh, trying to get her to throw the first pitch on Friday if she makes it in time. Um, just a lot of cool things and a lot of history, a lot of alumni that will be – uh, back in town, but they're always back in town now. It's, we've had our alumni back, and they're a key part of our success. So um, come to the park, enjoy it. It's going to be an awesome weekend, and and uh, we're going to need you for for sure. Hey, uh, Kenny, congratulations on everything. And again, besides Texas, Kansas is coming to Stillwater. Texas Tech, who has really got a good program. I heard their AD bragging about their softball program on the uh, on the radio this morning. Um, so yeah, these are these are three huge Big Twelve series. Not to mention the Bedlam games that'll that'll be in Stillwater as well. So all that's coming up. Uh, I know they've been on the road a while, folks, but 
Cowgirls are back in town, and they're back in town and playing some winning softball. Kenny, appreciate it. Good luck this weekend. All right, Robert, thanks, and I, I want to see you at the ballpark too. You know what? It, it will be it'll be Sunday because we've actually got a family thing planned. We'll see Josh and the Cowboys in TCU on Friday night, and then we got the Cubs Saturday uh, in Arlington, Beautiful. which doesn't happen very often. But, hey, the good thing is you got Kansas the, the next weekend. You've got Texas Tech coming in, Bedlam. So uh, there, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for people to see this Cowgirls team. That's right. We appreciate you guys a bunch. All right. Thanks, Kenny. Okay. All right. Uh, and so Cowgirls this weekend with Texas. This is this, you know, and it's almost, it's really kind of good that this is, um, that, that the Cowboys are out of town, that there's not a ton going on because this is a chance for the Cowgirls to take center stage on campus. And they should take center stage on campus with this. This is, uh, you know, this is big. Um, Texas has had a remake with the new coaching staff, uh, the influx of players that came in with the new head coach from Oregon. They're playing really well. They played a tough schedule. The Cowgirls have played a tough schedule. And now uh, the Big 12 is going to start taking shape. Oklahoma State 2-1 and one after winning the series on the road against Baylor uh, last week. And now um, – now they get to come home and, and play some games. Uh, they, they have a Iowa State series on the road. You think they could probably handle that. Other than that, Cowgirls are playing a bunch of games at home over the, uh, over the month of uh, April and into, uh, into May, that first weekend in May with the Bedlam series.